Hi, today we're going to talk about dormant oils and other horticulture oils and kind of what the difference is between some of these. So we're going to talk about horticulture oils today and what all that can mean. And for years, uh, people use dormant oils and we use dormant oils to control insects, especially small ones like mites and scales and aphids and insect eggs, and it smothers them. So insects don't breathe in and out through their mouth. They breathe through little tiny holes on their sides. And so if you're going to use these and to smother them, then you have to get very good coverage. It's not a deal where I spray the top of the leaf and the insect walks across it and then it dies. You're gonna have to really find where the insects are and get good coverage. So it is a mechanical type of control. So that means insects can't develop resistance to it because it's not a pesticide that they can develop resistance to. And it, some of them may help with some of the diseases. So there are lots of names and confusion about these now. So for years, like I said, we had dormant oils and these were commonly used for fruit trees. And they were used in the dormant season before they were showing any at all on the trees. And it would help to kill those aphids and mites and those insect eggs. Well, a number of years back, they came out with lightweight oils. And these you could use all season or you could use during the summer. So all of these products are petroleum based. It may say paraffin or mineral oil, but all of those are petroleum based. So it gets a little confusing for people because people may go in and they're looking for a dormant oil. That would be what people would commonly be wanting to buy because they're not that familiar with the all season use of the oils. So they look for something that says dormant oil. And now these all season oils, because they can be used all season, which includes when the trees are dormant, you really don't need a separate dormant oil and then a summer oil or one they can use, you have one you can use all year round. So these lightweight oils are multi-purpose and really the only ones that you need now. But because people are used to looking for dormant oil on the label and that's the product they're looking for, a lot of times the product will say dormant oil. And when you read through the instructions, you'll find, well, I can use this all season. Now, one thing you have to watch is the temperature restrictions. I've seen anywhere from 85 degrees to 100 degrees where you can't use them at that temperature. If the temperature gets too warm, you might have some foliage damage. So the product labels do vary on that, but you'll have to watch that in the middle of summer. Also watch for restrictions on using sulfur with these, mixing the sulfur with them, or even using sulfur and the oils within a certain time frame, days or a week or so within with each other. And again, the label will explain that to you. And one thing I found that some of these products are listed on the label as being organic approved and some are not. So if it's important for you that it's listed as an organic product, you may wanna look for that. Like I said, it does get a little bit confusing. They are good products. You still want to add that at the early part of the season for your fruit tree spray schedule. But if you have these all season oils, you can use those throughout the year to control small insects like aphids or mites on any of your plants. So like I said, there may be a few species that says not to apply them on. You might get some leaf burn. There's some temperature restrictions and you wanna watch the restrictions with sulfur. But if you have any more questions on this, contact your local University of Missouri Extension uh, agronomy or horticulture specialist. 